So you guys notice something different? I don't know. Is it the hair? I don't know. So if you had already followed me on Snapchat and Instagram, then you already been known this. This ain't anything new to you. Or maybe it doesn't even look that different on camera. I don't know. Just a little shameless Instagram Snapchat promo. My Instagram is at Whaley, so be sure to follow me for pictures and things like that. I have been working hard on my Instagram theme, and I must say it's looking real cute, so be sure to follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. And my Snapchat is OsnapWhaley. Oh so I recently got my hair done. I got it done about four days ago, I would say. And this is four day hair right now. So it probably looks hideous. It probably looks a little darker than it really is because it's so dirty with oils. In this video, I just kind of want to show you guys my new hair, uh, talk a little bit about what color it is, what is the haircut. I did take four inches off my hair. So if you watch my previous video, my hair was like a darker auburny brown. And right now it's kind of like a, I want to say a greenish, grayish, bluish, brown. I don't know. It's just a mixture of a lot of different colors. This is what it looks like right now. It's really dirty. So please excuse this. When I went into the salon, in my mind, I was kind of wanting something that's like a nice, ashy, dark blonde, but I also wanted a little gray in it as well because I just wanted it to be a little more fun and I just feel like I never really experiment with my hair. For those of you asking me what color this is exactly, I don't know how I would explain it. I feel like the best way to like translate something to a hairstylist is to bring in a picture. So if you would like, go on my Instagram and take some screenshots. My roots are a little darker, then it fades into like a lighter medium brown right here. And then as it starts going down a little more, that's when it goes into like a dark blonde and then has a little bit of gray in it. And some, some pieces actually picked up a little bluish green. The next question I've been getting on Instagram is what is my haircut? My haircut is really simple. It's just a, you know, just a layered cut. My layers start right about here. So I have pretty long layers. My hair is down here. And I also made sure that I asked for scissor cuts because I didn't want that wispy looking razor cut. If you want your hair to kind of have some more weight to it at the bottom, like how I have it, then just ask for scissor cuts. So yeah, that's like the situation I have going on right now. Um, I don't really have a name for it, but it's just long layers. Mm -hmm. All right, so now that I talked a little bit about the hair, I just wanted to say that I really like how this turned out. I know it's not for everyone, but for those of you that like it, thank you. I feel like I just want to explore and try different colors. I might even try to go pink. I might try to do purple or even more green. I don't know. I just, I just feel kind of more spontaneous with my hair now. Right, now I want to talk to you guys about my hair care because a lot of you always ask me since I dye my hair so often, how do I take care of my hair? Because to be honest, my hair is actually really, really healthy. Like whenever you look at my hair and you see that, oh, there are like flyaways and like pieces that look a little dry, it's because of the styling products I put in there to give it that dry look. I don't know if that makes sense, but I like when my hair looks beachy, messy, and like very, like a lot of texture. So naturally my hair is really soft. Like it falls flat. It's very shiny. So I purposely put products in there to make it look drier so that it would like, you know, stick out and things like that. I don't know. I just like my hair like that. Okay. I like that sexy, like I woke up like this type of hair. Okay. First thing I think that when you want your hair to be healthy, it has to come from inside out. Vitamins are your best friend. Okay. Yes. Homegirl takes gummy vitamins because I cannot I cannot take a pill. This one right here, this is from the Costco. You probably grew up with this, okay? Your mom probably bought this for you. I think this is like a multivitamin. Yes, it is. This is a multivitamin. So yeah, I take two of these every day. And I also take three of these. It says that you're supposed to take two, but I just take a little more. It's okay. You won't die. The one I'm taking is Nature's Bounty. You can get this at Costco or Amazon or Target. I was taking this for about a month and a half straight and my hair was just growing. It was so shiny. My nails were growing. Overall, this is a really good gummy and if you're wanting your hair to just grow out stronger and just have more luster and shine, then you gotta try some biotin. I have been using Lush shampoo bars for a while now. I really like them. I personally find it to last longer and it also just works a lot better for my hair. So the one I'm using currently, have it in this little Lush pot. This one is called Jason and the Argan Oil. So that's the one I have here. This one is infused with Argan Oil. This one just works amazing. Like it makes my hair so soft, so shiny, and I just really, really like it. Or another thing you can do if you wanna go light like this, like 
kind of like blondish tones, then go get purple shampoo. As for my conditioner, I am using Lush as well. I just really like Lush hair products. I think they work really good. My hair conditioner is this one. This is called American Cream. Oh my God. Oh my God. The best conditioner ever. I use about an, like a, I would say like a little bit bigger than a quarter sized amount. And it, j and I just run it over my ends and it just, Oh my god, like it makes your hair so freaking soft. <laughs> now for how I care for my hair and how I keep it healthy even though I color it a lot and use um, heat products. You wanna make sure that if you use like hot tools or you use a blow dryer, make sure you always use heat protected. The one I'm using right now, I got it as a gift from Sephora. This is um, the BB Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Primer. If you have to use a straightener or you have to use a curling wand to do your hair, use a tool that is very long lasting. I use the Numi tools and I really do think that they really help make my hairstyles last. This right here, I curled it four days ago have not touched it up and this is what it looks like. Or another thing you can do is do heatless hairstyles. So those were my hair care tips. Now I wanna tell you guys about how I maintain my hair and let it go for like four days, five days without washing. Don't get it wrong. I'm not saying that at four to five days your hair is gonna be smelling beautiful and stuff. Like girl, it does not smell beautiful by day three, okay? So that is why you have to use dry shampoo. That's my trick. I use dry shampoo. I don't put a ton of product in it. The only product I really put in my hair is Moroccan oil. This is the one I've been using for years. It works really good and I really like it. And the next tip is to train your hair. So my hair, I used to have to wash it almost every day or at least no more than one day. By training, I mean you just have to just endure the dirtiness. Maybe if you're washing your hair every day now, do every other day. And if you're already doing every other day, then do every two days. You have to slowly walk your hair into this new routine. These are the two dry shampoos I recommend. I really like the Not Your Mother's dry shampoo. I like this one because it's just Really light. Well, actually these two work about the same. This one I have here is the Batiste dry shampoo. I don't know if you guys remember me talking about how I didn't really like it before. I think it was Batiste. I remember talking about a dry shampoo before that I didn't really like because I didn't feel like it did anything for me, but I believe it was Batiste. But recently I started using it again because so many people say so many good things about Batiste. I feel like the one I got must have been like a bad one or something. So I decided to give it another try and so far I do really like it. The scent I have in this one is Blush. It has like a floral and like sweet scent to it and it has just been working really good it works just as good as the not your mother's and I always just like blast a little bit of it into my roots so that it just absorbs my oil and then afterwards I just really massage it in it's very minimal I really don't do that much to it I think a lot of people mistaken that when you want your hair to look good you have to put a lot of styling products in it sometimes less is more when you put so much in your hair it might weigh your hair down and it might even damage your hair so all right everyone so that is is all that I have to say in this video. As usual, be sure to subscribe to my channel and thumbs up this video. Let's see if we can get this video to 8,000 likes. Also, before you guys go, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. I have really been trying to be on top of it lately and yeah, I would really like for you guys to check out my pictures and stuff like that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing day. And if you're not really having a good day right now, I hope your day gets better. And if you're already having a good day, keep it up. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Peace. Hello, hello. And welcome back to me channel. So today is both a March and April favorites because last month I did not do a favorite. I don't have a lot. And even in this video, I don't have 